Hello, and welcome to this tutorial video on Air Magnet Survey Pro, covering the various types of heat maps. Air Magnet Survey Pro offers a variety of heat maps to analyze and understand data collected during site surveys. The pull down menu in the top right corner shows us the available heat maps signal strength, noise level, signal to noise ratio, channel interference, predictive 5 data rate. Spectrum, 802.11n, 802.11ac, Channel Overlap for 11ac, AP Operating Mode, and Channel Width. Let's start by looking at Signal Strength. The Signal Strength heat maps can be shown for the first, second, or third most strongly heard access point. Signal Strength heat maps will show the power of the strongest heard access point in DBM, color-coded onto this floor plan. Looking at the first AP signal strength heat map will show me the strongest access point heard at each location in DBM. If I choose second AP, I will see the signal strength for the second most loudly heard access point at each location. The same follows for the third. Looking at first second and third AP signal strengths can be valuable in understanding whether or not I have overlapping coverage throughout my site. Overlapping coverage is often important in voice deployments or in mission critical situations where the failure of a given access point can't take the network down in that area. Our next heat map is noise level. The noise level heat map will show the noise level measured by the wireless card in DBM across the site. The signal-to-noise ratio heat map will show the signal-to-noise ratio in DB throughout the site as measured by the adapter. Noise level heat maps as well as the signal-to-noise ratio heat map can be valuable to determine whether or not noise is playing a key factor in the performance of a network. The channel interference heat map shows the interference severity between co-channel APs throughout the site. Air Magnet uses a 0 to 100 metric, with 100 being strongly interfering and 0 being little to no interference. The predictive phi data rate down heat map also can be shown for first, second, or third most strongly heard access points. The predictive phi data rate heat map will show in megabits per second the expected phi data rate at each location throughout the site. The spectrum heat maps are only available if you have done a survey using the Spectrum XT adapter. The first spectrum heat map is the channel power heat map. It shows the overall channel power throughout the site as measured by the Spectrum XT adapter. This is overall RF power, not a specific noise level. The Interferer Power heat map shows specific interferers that the Spectrum XT device heard. On the left hand side, I can see a list of potential interfering devices. Categories that are in bold were heard by the Spectrum XT card during my site survey. I can select one of these devices to see a heat map specific to that interferer. Heat maps from Spectrum integration can be very helpful to understand where the noise is coming from in a site. By understanding not just that there is an interferer in the site, but how much of the site and to what degree that interferer's power is present, I can better understand how to adapt my network to deal with it. The 802.11n and 802.11ac heat maps show max MCS data rates from the AP for transmit as well as receive. Each of these heat maps shows a color-coded map with the various MCS rates being the colors for the heat map. This allows me to visualize where particular MCS rates are available throughout my site. The Channel Overlap 11AC heat map shows me where I have overlapping channels within my site. As 802.11ac allows for channel widths from 20 to 160 MHz, it is very valuable to look at this data 
and understand whether or not my wider channels can viably be used in a given deployment. The AP Operating Mode heat map shows a heat map based on the type of AP in the environment. The color shown is based on the strongest herd type of AP at a given location. I can select the different styles on the left hand side if I wish to see coverage for an individual AP type. Similarly, the channel width heat map shows a color coded heat map based on the channel width of the APs heard during the survey. Again, the color shown will be that of the strongest heard AP. And again, I can select items on the left hand side if I would like to see a heat map based on specific channel widths. Thank you for watching this tutorial and thank you for choosing Air Magnet Survey Pro.